Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. This is me, Mary, aka Mae Wes. Um, in today's video, I will be talking about Japanese. I took a Japanese class up at school, and I really liked it. Um, I know a little bit, very little. Um, I really liked it. Um, I've got some friends who can speak it. Uh, and I will be teaching myself Japanese from my book and practicing with a friend of mine who speaks it fluently. Um, but yeah, this morning when I woke up, my mom said my left eye was crooked, which is weird. And then the moment I put my glasses on, she said it went completely straight. I don't know why that would happen. I'm gonna have to call my doctor and check and see what could cause that. Um, probably because my prescription needs to be redone. Don't know, but we will find out in August. I'm gonna try to see if I can get in there a little earlier than August for the cataracts and glaucoma scan and then meet with my regular eye doctor and do my prescription for contacts and glasses. Uh, a lot of times when I wear my contacts and glasses, or my glasses, my eyes get really tired just from looking at stuff. So, yeah. Um, I will be showing you guys how I do my Japanese practice by writing it all out and going over it and making sure it's right. Um, and then sending it to my friend who speaks it and see if it's right. If it's not, then I do it again. So I will be writing everything in my notebook right here. I had four notebooks. I had a small Moana notebook, but I lost that at work. Um, so yeah, I was gonna record over the weekend, and I didn't, but that's okay. Uh, I just wanted to give myself a quick break. Um, but I do have all the paperwork from my class that my teacher gave me, um, and it is in my binder, my Japanese binder. So I will be going back over everything that she gave me and I also have note cards that are also put away in my backpack that I can use to practice with and I love it um, but I will be starting from chapter one and working my way through to chapter two and that's where I will stop for the day I spend about a half an hour to an hour working on it. Um, I also go over all my expressions, everything that I need to know. Um, so that way I get it right. I tried practicing the other night with my friend and I was making mistakes. Um, but that's how I learn, by making mistakes and getting better and not getting frustrated with myself. Um, so I will sh show you guys the useful expressions. I don't know if you guys can see all those. Let me tilt it down. But those are all the useful expressions that I need to know. And then all the words that I need to know and practice are in each of the chapters. Um, my book also comes with the DVD. Or a CD, not DVD. A CD. And I listen to the CD on my computer. And that helps get me going. And there's a lot of grammar that I need to know and a lot of words I need to know which ones I can and cannot use. 
so yeah let me show you guys how I do my Japanese homework I call it homework even though it's not homework um, but for me it's homework because this is how I learn so let me see if I can find a spot to prop my camera Okay, so I have my book. I'm on chapter one. Mm, wish I had a um, desk to work at. It would be a little easier for me to do everything. So I will read everything in, oh, and my book is in, Ro, uh, it's Romanized, the Romanized version. So it makes it easy for me to be able to read all the words um, because it also has hiragana, katakana, and kanji in this book. Uh, that is the Japanese alphabet or the letters that they use to be able to write. And since I don't really know it very well, I read everything that is easy to read for me. Uh, Tagahashi-san, Kochira wa Sumisu-san desu. Sumisu-san desu wa ABC Fuzu no Bengoshi desu. Hajimimashite, Sumisu des yoroshiku onigaishimasu uh, tagahashi hajimimashite nozomi de pato no tagahashi des yoroshiku onigaishimasu so when i'm reading from my book i understand what i'm reading um but when i'm speaking with someone else it can be a little bit harder because I get nervous. Um, but the more I practice, the better I get. And I can do an introduction so that way you guys see uh, how I would introduce myself to you guys. Um, one moment. Let me go find my book that has everything written down in it. <sighs> so I basically kept everything that my teacher <laughs> gave us to practice with. Um, let me find it. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's asking about telephone numbers. I was writing out a lot of stuff. So let me see if I can find it. It's pretty interesting to see. Uh oh, did I lose it? I might have to rewrite it out and um, let 
I'm going to have to rewrite this out. And uh, you guys know how well it goes because I had it all written down and then I lost it. I don't want to try to do it and then it's not right. Oh, here it is. Hajimi Mashte, Watashi wa Nama e Mari des. Dozo Yoroshku Onigashimas. Er. I don't need Dozo, but. Um, that's how I would introduce myself to somebody. Uh, Yeah, there's a lot that I still have to learn. Uh, like telling time in Japanese. This was one of the worksheets our teacher gave us. And we had to listen to a tape. She would bring tapes to class. And it was pretty cool. Uh, some of it I got, some of it I didn't really understand. But, um, it's okay. I like being able to learn. And it makes me feel good that I didn't give up on that class. So, yeah. I'm going to go and study a little bit. I have chapter one. Let me find a blank page in my book. Well, I've got both notebooks out. Um, let's see. So, state someone's nationality. Half moon sun. Deutsche Jin des? Deutsche Jin des? So these are basically just exercises that our teacher wants us to keep practicing. We have to be able to tell someone's nationality and be able to tell what um, occupation they are, where they're from. Um... It's a lot to learn, but I've learned that it's not a race. Um, my teacher, I keep in touch with her, and I tell her that I practice, and I've been practicing writing it out so that way I can see it. And uh, I've been practicing with my friend who speaks it, and it's I made a little bit more progress than I had expected. Um, I just wish I could be more fluent in it. But I'm going to keep practicing, taking my time, reading my book, writing it all out, um, studying my note cards, having people quiz me on the words. Uh, I'm going to go through and learn all the numbers. Um, I can also give you guys my number, cell phone number in Japanese. Um, hold on, let me find that page as well. Uh, 
There was a lot I wrote down in here. Ah. Watashi no denwa bango. So, my telephone number, I forgot to write out. Uh, my response to that. So, it would be, my telephone number is Roku Go Zero Yon Hachi Q. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, I messed up. Oh, okay. Roku Go Zero Yon Hachi Ichi Go No Yon Q No Oh my goodness <laughs> Hold on, you guys. I'm sorry. I keep messing up. Okay. So, here we go again. So, my telephone number would be Roku Go Zero Yon Hachi Ichi Go Zero Q ni in Japanese. I'm sorry, I had to write out my telephone number in English and then practice doing it out of the book. Um, I still do have trouble counting in Japanese. <clears throat> um, I need to practice on that more. Um, I need to practice on items. And the names of items in Japanese. Um, I need to practice telling time. I need to be able to say, um, be able to travel, like be able to take the bus if I want to go somewhere. Um, I need to be able to tell if a certain item belongs to somebody or if it doesn't belong to somebody. I need to be able to say if something is close by or far away. Um, I need to be able to tell prices of items. Um, I need to be able to ask about business hours. Um, I need to be, it's a lot I need to learn still. Um, but I practice every day. Um, I also practice on my phone. I have a app called Mondly. It's a Japanese app that helps me, um, with words and pronunciations on how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um... I need to be able to count money in everything and then be able to tell like items like a radio, camcorder, TV, uh, computer, and uh, be able to s tell how much something costs, if it's too much or if it's not enough. It's a lot that goes into learning Japanese. Um, for me, but I know that when I was taking the class, I did okay. Um, my teacher, she would have us do skits in the class and oh my goodness, I did not like doing the skits because we had to get up in front of everyone in our groups and do the skits, but being able to read the skits 
in front of everyone from memory, it was good because that let me know how much I learned and how much I still needed to practice. And so when school was over, I stopped practicing. And I shouldn't have stopped practicing because that hurt me significantly. So I gave you guys a little bit of what I can do in Japanese. Um, I need to be able to uh, tell the days of the week, the month. Um, numbers, like I said, it's still a lot I still need to practice on. Um, taxi cabs, buses, cars, um, like if I'm going to or coming from, what would it be called? Um, uh, like the hot springs what they're called. Um, it's still a lot I have to learn. Um, like, supa would be supermarket. Karuma is car. And Depato is department store. Um... Yubinkyo is, I believe, the post office. And then Ginko is the bank. Um, Kagi is like, I think, meeting. Um, Hiru, ya. Yasumi is a uh, lunch break, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Pati is like party. Uh, egg, Iga, Igai, Iga is like movie, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Um, let's see, what else can I remember? Uh, Kagi, I believe, is key. Uh, Hon is book. Kasa is umbrella. Kitai is phone. Uh, toke. is um oh god toke i believe would be like a bag no toke is watch watch or clock Uh, Shimbun is newspaper. Uh, so there's still some stuff that I remember from memory. Berlin <coughs> Motazu um, is Berlin Motors. Um, Randen Ginko is London Bank, Bank of London, sorry. Um, 
Um, there's a lot I still remember. Um, but yeah, I remember a lot of things. Um, it's good for me to always go over it though and refresh my memory. Um, because when I don't practice, um, then I forget. And then another thing I need to practice on is making sentences. So like if I wanted to ask how much something costs, uh, I'll write it out in English and then I will look through my book and look for the words that I need and then I will write it out in uh, Romanji using my book and it's useful when I get stuck because I can always go back and look at like what I'm asking how much does this cost or how much does this cost it's useful to look back at my book and be like, oh, okay, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, I still have trouble with uh, the verbs, like which ones I should use in that sentence. Um, I still get a little confused, but I don't get discouraged. Um, I wanna be able to show my best friend who speaks it, that I can learn it too, just as good as he can. Uh, and then my other friends who can fluently speak it in school, I wanna be able to show them, hey, you guys, look, this is what I've learned from not being in school for one semester. Um, I basically sat down and I taught myself. I've gone over everything that the teacher gave us or the sense they gave us the semester I was there. Um, I do want to take her class again because it was so much fun. Oh my God, she was just so much fun. Uh, and she encouraged me to try because a lot of times she would ask me to say like, where is this pencil from? Or where was it made? And I would try and I'd make mistakes and then I'd get frustrated and not want to try anymore and she wasn't going for it she wasn't having it and I love that about her she wanted me to keep trying keep trying and keep trying until I got it right um, so that's what I've been doing practicing and trying and yeah I hope you guys like this video. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any more videos from me. Um, join the notification squad. Comment, like, and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. And tell me what other videos you would like to see down in the comment box below. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.